Question marks are not often tested on the SAT, but they are a pretty simple punctuation mark. If we're asking a question, we have a question mark. If it's a literal question. So let's read it. Um, in the novel, Things Fall Apart by this person, uh, Oh Kung Kuo is a leader of uh, this, uh, whatever, and takes pride in the culture's traditions. However, when the arrival of European missionaries brings changes to Umuofi, the novel asks a central question. Okay, well, they're literally telling me it's a question. They've separated it out. This is going to be a question. This is a rare case where I know I'm going to need a question mark. Usually we don't. Usually they're tempting us, but here is definitely a question. So let's just read them. See how Umuofia's traditions will be affected. Well, that's not a question. That's a statement that they just put a question mark on. That's actually usually how the answers go, And but that would be something more like this. This is what's typically the answer for these kinds of question mark questions, but it actually is the case here that we need a question. How will Umuofia's traditions be affected? They're setting us up to ask the literal question. We need a question mark. We need it to sound like a question. So there you go. Um, what do you think? Was this hard? I mean, to me, it's kind of easy because I, I know what a question sounds like, but I do know that when we see other questions like this on the SAT, they're kind of playing with you a little bit. They use words that sound like we're asking a question, but it's still just a statement. Uh, that is not what's happening here. This is a rare case where we actually need the question mark. But usually, like I said, choice A is more like what the right answer will look like. It's just that they've used words to kind of make you think they're asking a question, but it's still a statement. So pay attention to that. Is it a sentence or is it asking a question? They sound different. So hopefully you hear the difference too.